During my stay here in hospital, I have been busy crocheting. So today, I'm going to teach you how to make this adorable happy face keychain that only uses a tiny bit of yarn. So it's a great quick project if you don't have that much yarn. All you'll need is some yellow yarn for your happy face, or really any color, black for the smile and eyes, scissors, a four millimeter crochet hook, and a stitch marker, which can be a paper clip or a safety pin, as well as a needle. So this is the size of the final keychain when you're completed. So let's get started. So you're gonna begin by making a magic ring. So to do that, hold the yarn, wrap it around your fingers and make an X. Then put the hook under the first part of the X, grab the back piece, pull it through, and then you're just going to, to make six single crochets inside the ring on top of both of these pieces of yarn. So once you've pulled your ring closed by pulling on the string, you're going to do two single crochets in each of the six ar around your ring. So you're going to increase all the way around. So start by doing your first one, then insert your stitch marker. So I'm using a paper clip. You're gonna put it inside your first V to mark it. And then I'm gonna continue and do my second one inside that first stitch. I'm gonna continue this pattern, two single crochets in each stitch all the way around, and I'm going to end up with 12 single crochets. So once you've finished your second round, take out your stitch marker, and we're going to do increase in the first stitch, then just a single crochet. Remember to put back in your stitch marker after you do your first stitch, just insert it there, so I'm going to do two single crochets in your first stitch, then one single crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to continue that pattern around. Increase, single crochet, and you'll end up with 18 total stitches. So in the first stitch, you're going to increase Remember, after you do your first single crochet out of the two, you're going to put your stitch marker in, do another single crochet in that same stitch. Then in the next two stitches, you're just going to do one single crochet. So increase, single, single, all the way around, and you'll end up with a total of 24 stitches. So for the next two rounds, you're just going to do a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So no increases, just single crochet in every stitch. And the next two rounds, you should have 24 stitches. So for this next round, you can sort of pop it out. You can see the happy face starting to take shape. You're going to start by decreasing. Now, to do this, you're going to go under one half of your V, and then under this half of the second. So you should have three loops, then you're going to pull through all three. Then insert your stitch marker. So that is a decrease. Then you're going to do two regular single crochets in the next two stitches. So one, two. Now you're going to decrease again. So go under your half a V, half a V, three loops, pull through all three, and then do two single crochets. You're going to continue this all the way around and you should end up with 18 single crochets. So we're gonna start this round off by doing one decrease. And then we're just going to do a single crochet. So the pattern is decrease, single crochet all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. So next, you probably won't need your stitch marker anymore and you're going to grab your stuffing. Now you can use stuffing or a little piece of yarn inside this tiny happy face. It's up to you. 
So you're just going to stuff it a little bit. It won't use much of the stuffing because it is so small. And then you're going to decrease every stitch all the way around for a total of six single crochets. So again, you just go through three loops, pull through all three. That's your first one done. So once you only have six single crochets left, this is your final chance if you need any more stuffing to make sure your happy face will have enough fluff to it. And you're just going to end with a slip stitch. And now you're going to cut a really long tail um, because you need it long enough so that you can add the chain to make it hook on something with this same piece of yarn. <laughs> So the next thing you're going to do is go underneath one V, one half of it, all the way around your circle. So that was my first one, I'm gonna do it again. So, and this will just sew this big hole closed. Once you've gone through all of your stitches, you're just going to pull it shut. So once you've, you're ready, pull it closed. You can see that now there's no hole. Now I'm just gonna put my hook or put my needle right through the middle and then I'm gonna turn it to the opposite side and put it right through the opposite middle. And this is the right side of your happy face. The other side is the back side. So I'm just going to pull it through. Oops. The yarn here is really long, so it could get a little knot. Okay, so once I've pulled it through, you're gonna wanna make sure that this end part doesn't stick out. So you're just gonna pull it tight. Then you're going to put your needle, say anywhere around your magic ring, pull through and I'm again going to go back through now this middle. And pull all that yarn through. And this will just make sure that your happy face, the middle of it, doesn't stick out further so it's flat. So now what you're going to do is just work your needle up to the top of your happy face. So I'm going to do it there and this will allow you to make your keychain part. So this section here. So this is the top of my happy face and I'm just going to go under a piece of stitching and that will allow me to have a loop. And with that loop, I'm going to put in my crochet hook. And now I'm going to chain 25 and this will make my ring. So now I've just done 25 chains and I'm just going to pull my hook through just to end it off. And now what I'm going to do is stitch, just make sure it's not twisted, stitch this half in front, right, either right in front um, or right behind of where I started. So to stitch this together, I'm just going to go through this V. Okay. And that connects it. And then I'm just gonna go through a couple of times in the back to make sure it stays secure. So into the, I guess, the flesh of the happy face. You can do it a couple more times just to make sure it stays secure. So now that your ring is attached, you just, you can put the yarn out, out through the side of the happy face and cut it off. There we go. And now we're going to move on to the black. So you just need a little piece, but make sure it's longer than 
just the smile because we want to do everything with the same piece. So I'm just going to make a slip stitch. There we go. And now I'm going to chain four and this will make my smile. And then I'm just going to pull through. I made it nice and long so that I can do the eyes and the smile with one piece of black. <laughs> so now that you have your happy face, you want to make sure you put it on the right direction. So it should not be this side. It should be the side like this. Okay. And you want to make sure your chain is also the right direction, not backwards, just so it looks neater. And right along, let's see, one, two, your third ring, you're going to put your happy face or your smile. So you're going to start with this long piece, just insert it and poke it again through the black, up through the black. Okay, and that'll secure one corner of your smile. Now you're going to weave your wool through your whole smile all the way along to stitch it down and then we can move on to the eyes. So once you get to this end I'm just going to poke it through and instead of poking my needle out I'm going to poke it specifically to where I want the eye to be. So I think I want it up around there and if you do make a mistake and you don't want your eye there, it's easy to just pull back and poke it out in a different spot. Again, I haven't really sewed in this end yet, but that can be done at the end. And that's what my smile looks like so far. And next, I'm just going to make eyes. So to do that, I'm going to, about just over a stitch apart, I'm going to put the yarn through it. So that's one loop and I like it with three times so it's a bit thicker. So one, two, see it's looking more like an eye and then one final time through and I'm not, now I'm going to move on to the other eye instead of poking it through the end again. So you want it symmetrical, there we go. And you're just going to repeat the same thing for the other eye. So next, your final piece is just to sew in this end. So just poke it through, down, and out the side. And pull, pull, pull. Not too tight because we don't want to indent the face. And that is your happy face. And as you can see, Every face is a little unique, personalized, and you can do even a different face if you wanted. And then you can just cut off these black pieces and you are done your little keychain. Thank you so much for making this happy face with me. I hope you were able to follow along and stay tuned for my next video. Bye for now.